Mandela's home. Well, let's take you to Soweto now. We can join the BBC's Karen Giannoni, who is there for us. Karen, just give us a sense of how it is there as we see people not only sad and mourning, but it appears to be celebrating the life of Nelson Mandela. It really does, Lucy. It is a party atmosphere. This is really not what we were expecting when we made our way through uh, from the centre of Johannesburg down into Soweto. Uh, huge crowds. You can probably see a bit of them behind me. You saw that in Mike's uh, report there. And uh, they are singing, they are chanting, they are jumping, they are uh, praising Nelson Mandela. It doesn't feel like mourning. It really does feel like a celebration of life. Uh, a lot of shock here. A lot of people saying uh, that they cried when they heard the news. But uh, as you can see, that uh, mourning is also turning into uh, celebrating his legacy and what he achieved during his 95 years on the planet. Uh, let me introduce you to somebody uh, also very familiar uh, with the, the struggle in South Africa and uh, the current state of South Africa. It is Moletsi Mbeki, brother of the former president Thabo Mbeki, is also uh, deputy uh, chairman of the South African Institute of International Affairs. Uh, Mr Mbeki, thank you so much for coming and talking to us. And what do, we, what do you make of this scene? I mean, it may surprise people how festive, how joyful that scene behind us is. Well, Mandela was admired by everybody and this is the best way for the South Africans to remember him. Uh, in South Africa, when we demonstrate or when we are sad, we sing and we dance, and uh, this surprises many people. I, I once told a French minister that the French break windows and throw cobblestones, but, but we dance and sing. They were de uh, demonstrating against the French minister who is the head of the World Trade Organization. I don't suppose he liked that very much. But, I mean, just in terms of people feeling happy about Mandela's legacy, is that, is that what you would uh, surmise this as? Yes, I think uh, people are happy about what Mandela has achieved. Uh, they are happy about his life. They are happy about we, what he left South Africa behind. Of course, they are anxious about the way forward because clearly the leadership is not of the same stature as Mandela. So at least we have to enjoy these few days w before he is buried. Then we go back to the real South Africa. And talking about the real South Africa, I mean, looking at how South Africa is today, nearly 20 years after the first uh, democratic elections, do you think Nelson Mandela would be satisfied or do you think he would feel there's still a very long way to go? Well, Mandela knew what he could do with the one life that he had. And uh, he was an amazing man. I saw him about 18 months ago, just at the beginning of his uh, deterioration. Uh, he reminded me of my own father, who, was, who died about the same age as Mandela, went through the same trials and They were in prison together. They were in prison together on Robben Island. They felt very happy that they had achieved what they had actually achieved which was the elimination of apartheid. They never thought they would change South Africa into a paradise. They set themselves a task which they achieved. So they were, I think they were satisfied with their achievement. The next stage of South Africa's future is somebody else's assignment. And talking about the very short term, the effect that uh, Mr. Mandela's passing will have on, on South Africans over the next few days, I mean, what effect? Do you, do you think they still feel optimistic or do they now have a creeping sense of, of anxiety? You mentioned that word. Yes, I, I, there is anxiety in South Africa. We have a lot of turbulence uh, in the country. For example, the long-standing relationship between the ANC and the trade unions is breaking up. This is another chapter in our politics which we don't know where it is leading us to. Do you think it's difficult, I mean, as, as the brother of a former president, uh, the president after Mr. Mandela, uh, is it difficult for, for mere mortals to, to take on a politics after a figure like Nelson Mandela? He has such huge shoes to fill. Well, you, you couldn't take on the <laughs> politics after Mandela. But the people who came after Mandela, like my brother, their challenge wasn't politics. Mandela had uh, created a democratic architecture for South Africa. So the challenge was not politics, the challenge was economics. So they, there is no, they, they are, you are not comparing 
oranges with oranges. They, they, they had to deal with a different issue. Thank you very much, Moletzi and Becky. Very good to talk to you. And uh, we Thank must you. leave it there. We really appreciate you coming down. And uh, South Africa is obviously the main focus of everybody's attention at the moment and the reaction of South Africans of all creeds and colours. But uh, around the whole world, obviously the news uh, emanating from uh, Johannesburg last night has really affected many people. And Bridget Kendall has this sense of the millions of people around the world who are also mourning Mr. Mandela.